trying with 1075. We're rolling over Verona's 2022 Dodge Charger. We've got a sound off signal interior light bar, dual color. You can see we're in our park kill slow pattern. Our grill, M-Power's tri-color. We have our intersection bracket with tri-colors and M-Power. And we've got our fog light area, uh, M-Power's in tri-color. White scene override for all of them to provide additional scene lighting. Uh, you can see that we blended in the fog lights with some spray tint, make them extra sleek. We tinted the vehicle for them. We've got a Panorama Sharky antenna up on the roof. We've got our scanner antenna on the back. For the rear warning, we brought in a sound off signal interior rear deck light bar. We've got M powers on the rear license plate area. And then what we've done as a charger solution is we've brought the parking light rings to flash along with the reverse lights. So it gives them extra warning lights. It sinks the entire back of the vehicle. Looks fantastic as always. Trunk open. We have compartment lighting up on the rear hatch shine down for them, light up the cargo area. You can see we've got our four inch M powers on the uh, rear trunk. The shop did to help uh, reduce the amount of light that could be blinding you when you open up the hatch is they set it automatically to sound us or a pattern. So it's not so much in your face, but still provides a ton of rear warning when the hatch is up. We brought the Troy electronics compartments on both sides. So what this allows us to do is uh, mount all of our electronics securely off to the side, secure uh, stuff for their uh, camera system, uh, their radio chassis, and then our blueprint components on the other side. And then that way we can service and drop it down. We don't have to necessarily worry about stuff getting banged around underneath. Works out great. Prisoner containment system, Satina single cell with the transport system. And then you can see we have their weapons lock with the black rack lock system on it. For our console area, we've got their L3 camera system installed up on the headliner. Uh, we got their radar system installed. We have our Troy console. We've got all their radio equipment installed with the blueprint controller, the cup holders, the armrest. And then you can see we brought in the speakers on the partition, their flashlight. We've got their printer. And then we've got our hit laptop mount with our Havis docking station all ready to go. We're taking a look at our drive response mode, all done through the blueprint control system and the link module, which gives you the ability to automatically change the pattern and set the functions, such as the light patterns and park kill through the OBD2 reader, not requiring any splicing of the vehicle, maintaining your warranty. So you can see we've added white flashing all over the vehicle, including our DRL flashing through the blueprint control system. And this is all uh, set for the tricolors with the white in it. And then throw it back in park, shuts back into the park slow mode. Thanks for checking out this week's build showcase. Thanks to the Verona Police Department for allowing us to build their new vehicle. If you have any questions about this vehicle, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out with your next project.